ladies, have you ever had a day like this where you've been off, no kids, no husband, and you just wanted to spend some me time, but you didn't know your head looked like this? That's okay, because I'm here to share my wash day experience with you. All right, ladies, so it's wash day. You're gonna need a couple of items in order to make this process smooth. The first thing I use, it's gonna be either a mud rinse or shampoo. This mud rinse is based off a of Natural 85 mud rinse that she made, and the link for her video will be below. Then I use apple cider vinegar, that's a good clarifier. Next, I use a shea butter mixture that'll just add some extra moisture into my hair. The fourth product we'll talk about is oil. Everybody uses it, everybody knows about it. This is just olive oil in a misto bottle. Next in the lineup is an aloe-based moisturizing spray. I'll use this a couple of times in my process after I wash and as a refresher. You're gonna need a comb if you like to use combs. I do, when my hair's short, I like to use a comb. And some clips. Since I don't wash that often, I like to use a deep conditioner or a mask. Today I'm using Shea Moisture. All right, so we have everything. Let's gather all of our supplies and head into the shower. Now we wanna make sure that we clean our hair very thoroughly. So after you shampoo, you wanna make sure you put your conditioning agent on. I separate my hair into four sections, as you can see, in order to apply it. Because with natural hair, as well as any texture of hair that's really curly or thick, you want to make sure you work that conditioner in. Sorry guys, forgot to include. After I shampooed my hair, I made a point in rinsing my hair with apple cider vinegar. I also put a little bit in a spray bottle and spray it after I finish rinsing out my conditioner. Just FYI. All right, so we're gonna hop back into the shower, rinse this out. Make sure you're washing out your deep conditioners and masks. Your light conditioners or leave-in conditioners aren't a problem, but the heavier ones, the more viscous conditioners can cause over-moisturization to the hair, which can lead to split ends, just like if it was dry. All right, so let's seal those cuticles up. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray on my aloe base spray. And I work that in very well. It's very important for you to work products into your hair. Just don't let them sit on the top of your hair. Work it in. That's gonna make sure that all of your tresses and all of your strands get that moisturizing agent that you so vitally want on all of them. Running your fingers or a comb like I'm doing through my hair while I'm detangling and moisturizing will help decrease the knots that your hair forms. I love this Misto bottle. My natural sisters had it on one of their videos and I'll put the link below. Make sure you stick to oils that are of the consistency of olive oil, if not lighter, because anything else in this bottle won't do well. Things like castor oil are too thick. All right, so this is just an example of how it sprays and how fine the mist is. Yes, I am very heavy handed. So then you want to separate the, that section again into a smaller section. can add a little bit more product to it. I'm using a styling agent. It's a xanthan gum flaxseed gel that I made myself. 
and I'll show you how to do so in a future video. And that's what I'm using as my styling agent. Make sure you separate your sections. No, you don't have to have straight lines, but it's good in order for you not to zigzag parts or to have pieces from one section going into a piece or a section that you're working with. When you do that, you risk breakage. You risk having your hair tangled. You, wit you risk popping a lot of your strands that way. It's always to have a good clarified section that you're working with. So don't try to overlap hair too much or don't think you have to separate it. Whenever you're manipulating your hair, twisting it, braiding it, whatever the case may be, you always want to have a clarified section of what you're working with. It'll make your hair longer, last longer, moisturize better, look better. So we'll fast forward with these twists, almost done. Now, as I will discuss in a future video, I've had a lot of heat damage and hormonal damage. So this section right here is where a lot of the, the damage was found. So in order to make the textures match, I'm going to put some rollers in or some rods in. This will be my second big chop and I didn't want to start all over again. I had a horrible experience with my first big chop with the lady cutting off too much hair because I have two textures in my head. So I kept some of the heat damage just to make my hair uniform all the way around. But I'm cutting it little by little. This section is not so bad, but I'm just going to do it for symmetry to make sure that the curls are uniform. Alright, so this is a 360 of how my hair is as I twisted it. The white specks you see in it is the shea butter mixture. That'll go away once it dries. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and I hope to see you soon.